Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> it's Wednesday. Sorry, battery's dying. It's Wednesday. It actually died. I popped it in so that I could have finished filming the morning. Um, I am making my coffee. And since it's Wednesday, I get to go into work late. This is what my thumb looks like from underneath the band-aid. It's actually better than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like purple and swollen, but it's like cracked. My camera sucks. Um, it's like cracked like right here, so I'm not going to be able to like paint this nail forever and I have a wedding in two weeks or whatever. Um, so I'm going to make my coffee and I have to edit my video from yesterday. Alright guys, so I ate my breakfast while I was editing my video. It's up, so if you want to watch my last what I ate video, I'll link it down below or up here or it'll play at the end of the video, however I feel like doing it. Um, so I had my outfit oatmeal for three points while I was doing that and I was watching that new show American Housewives. Hilarious, hilarious. I love all the new shows. Um, my phone's vibrating. I'm sorry. Um, so I lost my train of thought. I'm going to take the dog. I don't want him to hear me. He's going to get all excited. Instead of going to the gym, I'm just not in the mood to, like, go sweat hard again. <laughs> I know that sounds bad. Tomorrow I'm going to sweat hard enough because I'm doing my Orange Theory class. So I'm just going to take him for a long one um, to get my steps in. It's only 1030. I don't have to be up to work until 12. The kids are off from school for Yom Kippur, but the boys are at a camp um, at one of the local nature centers. And the little one does have school because she's at a private preschool, so they still have school. Um, so I have to pick her up at 1. I have to run to the food store before that because I'm working late tonight and I'm going to make the oldest one request a chicken parm. He's the only one that will eat, eat it actually chicken parm. So I'm going to make the skinny taste cutlets so that I can eat them. And the little ones will eat a, a naked cutlet. They won't eat it with like sauce and cheese on it. <laughs> they have no idea what they're missing. Um, so I have to do all that. I don't know what I'm going to have for lunch. But I will check in with you guys in a little while. Such a nice day for a walk. I especially like walking around this neighborhood in the fall. It's so cute. I wish I could afford to live in this neighborhood, but it's ridiculous. Bush is loving it. Here is my lunch. It's a big lunch, high in points, 10 points altogether. This is four points worth of veggie straws. This is three points for the Simply Balanced Organic Sprouted Toast. For two, it's three, which is why it's my fave. Um, three points worth of smooshed avocado with just a little bit of salt and pepper. <laughs> Tomatoes on top, so this is six. This is four, 10 all together. All right, guys, so I'm going to make this for dinner, the skinny chicken parmesan, um, except I don't really like it. I, I'm just gonna have like a cutlet. Um, according to the website, when you make the chicken milanese, the cutlet I think is five points. Um, I don't know if that's in the cookbook. This is the Skinny Taste cookbook, by the way. Um, I don't know, but it, this recipe says to mix olive oil and butter together. And in the Skinny Taste chicken milanese, it's olive oil and lemon juice. So I'm just going to do it like that. But I will link both recipes down below if this is on her website. Um, but I will link the chicken milanese uh, uh, recipe down below because I know that's on her website and that's the one I, I use all the time. But look how yummy. I can't wait to get her new one. I think I'm going to go on Friday to get it. Because um, I just love this one. It's way past dinner time, guys. <laughs> so dinner was the Skinny Taste Chicken for five points. And then I had some pasta. I didn't measure it, but I'm counting the whole dinner as ten points. So I had 16 points left. And then I had um, a yogurt for two points as dessert while the kids were having their dessert. So I guess technically I still have some points left over but. It is what it is. And I definitely got way over my 10,000 steps. Right now I'm eyeing these boots from Land's End. Tell me what you guys think. I really want uh, good snow boots because all I wear are my rain boots when it's snowing. And I wanted these Ugg snow boots. This is the side. And the Ugg ones were $225. These are 100 and plus there's a 30% off coupon. I think that's a steal. Oh, I just, I'm so weird about buying things online. I'd much rather try them on. So I think I'm going to go, I think Sears carries Land's End. I feel like she sent me to Sears before to get the kids stuff. I don't know if they carry grown-up stuff. I feel like I might want to go try them on <clears throat> before I order them. But I get them for like 75 bucks, including tax, because I just did the math on the, the 
the, the website to see how much it would be. That's way cheaper than $295, right? Um, so that's going to be it for today. I will see you guys in the morning. And yeah, tomorrow should be a normal day and I have to go to Orange Theory tomorrow. I'm excited and nervous all at the same time because it's been forever. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. This is my breakfast, my three-point oatmeal, my water, my banana. I already had my one-point cup of coffee. I am not feeling very well today. I have this awful cough and I just feel so icky. So I canceled my Orange Theory class. Um, I'm rescheduled for Sunday. Um, I just feel like crap. I think I need some medicine or something. Um, I might go to the gym just to like, maybe just walk on the treadmill. I don't know yet. I just feel so icky today. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then figure out what I'm gonna do. So I just ran to Whole Foods and to Target. Um, I specifically just went to like the health part of Whole Foods just to grab um, some oil. I, I wanted to get two oils, but I didn't want to buy the, um, I'm going to make when I get home, sorry, it's like all over the place. I lost my train of thought. Um, I'm not feeling well and I read online that about a balm that you could make with oils to help um, with like chest congestion. So I got a little container and I have coconut oil at home and I'm going to mix together eucalyptus and I have peppermint oil and I have lavender oil. The other oil they said to get was um, thyme oil, but the thyme oil kind of smelt similar to peppermint and I feel like peppermint is a very um, opening type oil. Um, if you're not familiar with oils at all, um, I use peppermint a lot when I have migraines. Um, it super helps. I'm not like obsessed with oils. Like I just like to try it out because I'm not all about going to the doctor. Um, I actually kind of hate going to the doctor. So I'm, I try to like make myself feel better without going to the doctor. So I ran and got this and I got a little container to mix everything together when I get home. So fingers crossed that, that helps. And at Target, I just got um, batteries for the scale since our scale batteries are dead. No good to me. And I got a t-shirt. Um, I just got, it's like a three quarter sleeve t-shirt. I got a large because I wanted to be big and cozy. I didn't try it on. It is so soft, which is why I got it. And um, I call these type of clothes work clothes because <laughs> I don't get dressed up for work. I'm like cozy at work. So it's it's a work clothing. Um, this was $16.99, which I think is a good deal. Um, <clears throat> what else did I get? I got Rob popcorn this in the car because I didn't want to take it out. So I didn't forget it here. Oh, I just don't feel good, guys. I don't feel good at all. Um, I wish I had brought everything else with me because, I mean, I guess it's kind of like a nighttime rub that I'll be making, but I hope that it works. I really hope that it works. If you guys have any experience with oils and this kind of thing, let me know down below if you think it'll work. Uh, I just use, um, the only oil that like I'm obsessed with is peppermint oil. Like I said, I put it here and on the back of my neck for when I have migraines. It never cures my migraines. It just helps my migraines. Um, but I also wanna get a diffuser for my bed side table so that at night I could put it in the diffuser. This stuff smells amazing, by the way, this eucalyptus. So I'm hoping that it helps. Fingers crossed. Here is lunch, guys. It's kind of point heavy. Um, but I've been dying to like have like a sandwich type thing. And then I remembered we had leftover chicken from last night. So this was like half a piece of the chicken. So I'm counting it as three points. Three point pita. I have a wedge of the laughing cow cheese for one point. So this is seven. And I have four points worth of veggie straw. So it's an 11 point lunch. Um, I will have 14 points left for the day, which is actually quite plenty. I just have to not snack so much. I will save my protein shake for like later on so that I'm full. And that I don't want to snack when the kids come home. But I'm starving, so I'm going to enjoy this. Even though I feel like poo, guys, I'm still trying to get my steps in. I'm just taking a lap around the backyard before I head in the car to get the little one from school. I still want to make it to 10,000 steps, guys. I think I'm going to get her. We have a play date. I think instead of coffee, I might do some tea. I'm not sure yet. I just want to go home and go to bed. 
carrying this book around because I have to take it back to the library. I hate that the library has like a seven day uh, time frame on holiday books. I always forget about them. So I got tea at Starbucks. I got, my sister told me to order the medicine ball. I'm not a big tea lover, so I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but we'll try it. So I just had a piece of cheese, three squares of Hershey's chocolate and some more veggie sticks. I have counted it all as the rest of my points. Today's not a good day and um, I'll probably just eat a, one of those power crunch bars for dinner and go into like my weekly or fit points guys. I'll keep you posted. Driving home and I'm having my power crunch bar. I continue to eat like crap today so I didn't even track all of it so God knows how many points I've wasted. I'm gonna go home <clears throat> and make that bomb. I'll make it with you guys on the camera. Alright, so this is the coconut oil that I am using to make this balm. And like I said earlier, I did not buy the thyme oil just because it was a little bit too expensive. So I'm just going to use peppermint oil. Um, I think it will give it the same effect. So to make this, you put five drops of the lavender oil, two drops of the thyme oil, so I'll do peppermint, and then eight drops of the eucalyptus oil. And I will let you guys know how well this works.